welcome back to my channel so today I finally have um, an Asian wedding dress makeup tutorial I did ask you guys on snapchat what kind of colors you want to see and I put like bright colors like navy pinks greens and then I added a bronze just in case and then bronze wand so I've created like a bronze look but it's crazy because like I get told like I'm starting to get those comments I feel like every youtuber goes through this phase like a makeup youtuber Um, I feel I'm starting to get those comments where I'm being told what I do like kind of like the same makeup looks and I do kind of like I, I admit to that like I like my bronzy colors and stuff but I gave you guys the option to choose bright colors and bronze one so if you guys want to see bronze then I'm going to continue doing bronze but I did decide to do the ne the top three colors in the following week so next week will be navy and the following week will be purple and if you guys want to see more colors just let me know in the comments below and I will definitely do more colored looks for you guys if you guys want to know how to get this look then just keep on watching I'm going to first do my brows and I'm going to use the Brow Artist Expert by L'Oreal and I believe this is in the shade Ebony but I'll write all the product details in the info box as always and I'm just going to fill in my brows with this. I did tie my hair up out of the way because it does tend to come in my face a lot when I'm doing my makeup but anyways I'm just going to fill my eyebrows with this Um, it's actually really really nice it's very easy to use and it stays on it doesn't fade out through the day so I definitely recommend this. Um, drugstore eyebrow product and I'm going to go in with the L'Oreal Brow Artist Plumper in medium dark which I absolutely love just to set my brow hairs in place and then I am just carving my brows with the NYX Gotcha Covered Concealer in golden and this is just going to make my eyebrows more carved out and more shaped and dominant and you know just stands out more and <laughs> um, now I'm going in with my trusty old naked skin concealer by Urban Decay in medium dark warm and I'm just using this as my eyeshadow primer I'm now going to use the Anastasia Beverly Hills modern renaissance palette gosh my mind just went blank um, and I just went with a uh, golden ochre just to set the concealer in place and now I'm going in with raw sienna just to kind of define my crease and make it warm enough this is kind of like your transition colour and now I'm using real girl this is like a bright orange and I really wanted to make the transition colour or the crease colour pop because it's kind of like a half cut crease I would say so I just wanted a bit of colour in there and it's also going to add to the bronzy kind of look so yeah I'm just blending that in on top of raw sienna and go in with your previous eyeshadow brushes like your first one that we use with golden ochre just to blend out the edges now I'm using cypress umber this is like a cool tone brown I would say it's quite cool for me I would say but anyways I'm going to just like blend this in the outer corner and really define that outer corner area and you don't want to go too far up with it make sure it's just in the inner corner like the outer corner I mean and you want to keep those orangey tones that we put in the crease still there <laughs> and now I'm going back with the Urban Decay Naked Skin Concealer just to carve the cut crease um, and I'm going to do that on the other eye as well I'm now going to use the Urban Decay After Dark palette which has mostly shimmer, well they're all shimmery colours but they're really bright and unique colours and I'm going to use a shimmery reddish tone colour and literally I used a brush from the palette and just swiped once with it and it was so pigmented so yeah I really really like this colour and I'm just popping that on the middle of my lid and um, just after the cypress umber we applied and I'm going to use this colour called off duty which is a dark bronzy colour and I'm using this to kind of make the reddish colour and the <coughs> brown colour that we put in the outer corner kind of to blend together and now I'm using this bright yellowish colour in my inner corner so it's kind of creating this sunset kind of gradient on the lid and I'm just making sure that I softly blend the colours together so it creates a nice transition between all three colours and I did go in with a little tiny pencil brush just to make sure that I don't go over the cut crease we created and now I'm going with my um, collection Glam Crystals in Funk and this is like the perfect glitter product to use if you want to make a glitter cut crease line it's so good like this is my go-to product if I want that cut crease glitter liner look but I did kind of do like two layers to make it stand out and then I'm going in with my NYX matte liquid eyeliner in black 
and I'm just creating a normal wing liner. I do actually really really like this one, it's one of my favourite eyeliners because it's just super black, super matte and it really stands out and I find that the applicator is very easy to use as well. Now I'm just going to apply some mascara, I went in with my Bobbi Brown eye opening mascara and I'm also going to be using some lashes today. This is the new most wanted range I would say and this is the Gimme Gimme style and oh my god they're so fluffy, so nice. Of, I just recommend these lashes to anyone. I want all the styles, literally. Um, now I'm using some of my MAC Conceal and Correct Duo, and I'm using the Pure Orange shade just to correct around my mouth area and my cheek areas where I have a bit of pigmentation. And then I am going to be wearing some foundation, obviously. <laughs> I'm using the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation in Caramel. I really, really like this foundation, but there I have realised a few things about it that kind of bother me, but I will do a review on it, so make sure to stay tuned for that. But I'm just using my Beauty Blender to blend all this out. My Beauty Blender is damp. But it does give a nice flawless finish to the skin. I'm also going in with my Urban Decay Concealer again and I'm just highlighting some areas, the bridge of my nose, my forehead, my chin and obviously under the eyes and I'm just going to blend that with my Beauty Blender. I did grab a small tiny brush that I used to create my cut crease and I'm just going to sharpen that wing to make it extra sharp, you know? Anyways, I'm just blending everything out. I'm such a weirdo, oh my god. I feel like I've forgotten how to do voiceovers. <laughs> But now I'm using my Ben Nye Banana Powder and just baking, kind of baking under the eyes. I just used a brush um, and also just the parts of my face where I highlighted and I just left that for like two seconds and brushed it all off. And now I'm going in with my MUA Bronzer. This is like my first time using it and I was actually kind of impressed by it because it was literally three pounds. Um, it's really good. It's a bit reddish, I would say, but it still looked really nice and for the price you can't go wrong. I did apply more bronzer than usual just to make this look look extra bronzy. After my bronzer I used the Balm Luminizer collection and I used the shade Betty Luminizer which is a nice bronzy highlight and it's perfect for my skin tone. I absolutely love this colour um, and this highlight is, just gives you the nicest wet looking glow. I just absolutely love it and I'm just hi highlighting my face to like as the most as I can basically. My mind's going blank. I literally feel like I can't talk. Um, now I'm going in with this um, liquid lipstick by The Balm. I'll write the shade in the info box because I don't have it with me right now, but it's a stunning colour. Um, these actually feel really... I actually have it right on right now as I'm doing this video, like editing. And seriously, these don't feel like sticky at all. They're super comfortable. They do have a like mint chocolate smell, which I don't really like, but it fades away in like a few minutes. So I'm to I totally don't mind that. So... Yeah, definitely a big thumbs up for these. They're really, really good. I did also go in with Raw Sienna and Real Girl on my lower lashes from the Anastasia palette. I did actually forget to wear mascara. I don't know why. I always wear mascara on my lower lashes and I kind of wish I did, but I forgot. So, hey ho. I can't do anything about it now. I did also go in with that yellowish shade that we grabbed from the Urban Decay palette just in my inner corner. Of my lower lash line and I also did use a cypress umber on my lower lashes as well but just on the outer corner area. I also used a bit of golden ochre on my brow bone just to highlight that bit as well and then to give my inner corner a bit of highlight I grabbed the shade Alter from the Urban Decay After Night palette and I did wet it on the brush with some Smashbox primer water and yeah it just looked really popping it really highlighted my inner corner oh my god it was like really like bright the camera's not even picking it up that much but yeah so that's the end of this tutorial i hope you guys enjoyed it thank you so much for watching and make sure to give this video a big thumbs up subscribe if you're new to my channel i love you guys and i'll see you next time